Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's live Q&A session. We are, <coughs> we're going to be talking about the best AI content writing tool and uh, answering any questions that you may have. So if you've got any questions, please do put them in the live chat and we will answer them. And hopefully I'm still going to be joined by Chris Palmer. I don't know if he's just been held up on a call. Um, <coughs> but hopefully he comes along. I've not heard otherwise. And uh, and we are sponsored by the news guy. The logo is above and the link is below. So if you want to check out the news guy for his PR services and everything else, then please do um, check that link below. But without further ado, um, the best AI content writing tool. So <clears throat> um, recently I got involved with um, Keyword Hero. And I'm just going to get it up in front of my screen um, to show you the tool and what it does and talk a little bit about that. And then from there, we can just do our usual weekly Q&A session. Um, so Keyword Hero, I'm just going to run you quickly um, through what it does. Um, obviously, the topic is AI content writing tools. And I, I just think that this is such a, a smart tool um, to, to share with you guys, um, not because I'm personally involved with it, but I, I think overall it's just a great tool. Um, so Keyword Hero 2.0, um, It's the tool has been around, and although it sounds like a keyword research tool, which it does do, it, it's not really that. Um, you know, there's a lot more to it, and it's a content writing optimization tool. Um, so, and, and building topical authority and getting found everywhere. So you can see myself on the homepage and stuff like that. Um, now, <coughs> built by a, a very smart guy, and obviously I'm going to get involved and help the guy promote it um, and stuff like that. Um, but AI content is something many tools do and have done well, um, but this is going to be done with a difference, you know, it's got um, different things built within the tool and just the way it's built and the interface and the multi-step system that analyzes the topical coverage and scores your content based on entities, topics, subtopics, and obviously having a look at the competition and everything else as well. Um, so <clears throat> obviously there's some proprietary metrics um, built in there and they will look at you know domain power of course and uh, you know various other things that are on there and of course your presence on Google Bing and LLM and there is AI agent there's an AI agent in there which does keyword research and spits out a nice report for you and something you can report to clients on but um, all of this can be done and it can write your content for you. It can give you your search volume, the difficulty, the SERP analysis, all of that kind of stuff, as well as um, keyword clustering and grouping and writing. The, the you know At first, it gives you the brief and then you can go into the content planning phase and get the tool to write the content for you. And you can also humanize it and everything else. And although it's listed here, for monthly prices, it is available today on AppSumo for 79 bucks for a lifetime license. So ignore those prices. But I'm going to um, just see who's in the chat first and foremost. Dennis is here. Um, hi, Dennis. We will be answering questions, but I'm just briefly going to run through this tool um, because why not? It's nice to show amazing stuff that's out there. Now, this is the interface, and you can see that it, it has an agent, and it is going to have another AI agent built in uh, very soon. Now, it does keyword research. I don't think anyone really needs to, to go through that, but you can do keyword research. So best coffee, whoop, best coffee makers, um, 
it's going to go away and it's going to give you the kind of usual standard um, stuff that you would see. But if you click on here, you can create a topical map based on those clusters and <coughs> it will create a topical map for you and so on and so forth and map all of those clusters out and give you an idea of how you're going to go and build your content. So the tool is currently doing that for us um, and it will spit that out in just a moment. Um, from there, obviously the content creation is the, the most important part, but that's the, the, the topic clusters and everything else which you can uh, see. You know, it's based on uh, various different things, machines, grounds, accessories, recipes, cafes or whatever. Um, but you can go in and, uh, you know, build out your topic clusters on there as well. But then comes the really cool part. Now, you can do content analysis on here and you can stick in your keyword um, and you can also look at the different types of content. So if you're writing content for an e-com store, for example, and product pages, then you're going to select that. Now, the reason that you've got these various different options is the tool goes away and scrapes the SERP. But if you're going to scrape the SERP, don't blindly just scrape the top 10 search results because if you're doing an e-com product page and you're comparing it to, I don't know, big long form blog posts or Reddit things or something that is not like for like the same as you, then you're wasting your time um, and you're not going to get as close to good content as you might want. Um, so you can look at the kind of intent on there uh, in terms of scraping and then you can go in and select a content plan and crack on and go on to the content planning stage. So that's content analysis, but I've done um, this stuff um, already just so that we're not waiting for the tool to load. So if I'm looking at uh, these kind of keywords here, um, the analysis is going to look um, a lot like, um, not that one, We'll go to this one. Um, it's going to look a lot like this on the dashboard. Now, at the start, you can go in and you can um, look at things um, and, and, you know, tweak the content brief as such. You know, it's going to have a different an outline. You can go in and add different header sections. You can go in and, um, you know, make it small, medium, large or extra large. You can have it. Auto, uh, automatically selecting the most appropriate level and style of content, or you can ask it to give clear, uh, factual and precise answers, detailed and authoritative level, bullet points with brief support and details, bullet points with comprehensive explanations, and professional level reference and analysis. So you can do that for each and every section on your website. Um, so you can mess around with the content uh, brief and outline. Uh, and once you've done that, you can tell the tool to basically go and write the content for you. Um, now, you can also select whether you want the tool to pass AI detection or not. Um, less perfect content is going to pass AI detector. So, you know, humanizing it or whatever you want to call it um, is is something that you can do there. You can also put in custom instructions such as uh, make it a thousand words or, or whatever you want, do this, do that. So you can give it your own prompts as well, um, as well as the inbuilt ones that are there. You can also use the different voice perspectives that are on there and then it can go away and write your content and it will create you know, sections like that, giving you nice, simple, easy content um, that one you can you can edit, um, but going back to the competitor analysis, obviously the tool based on the content analysis is going to look at specific types of websites. Um, now you can go in and manually tweak the the SERPs uh, and whatever that it's looked at, and from there. Um, you can save and then regenerate the, the topics um, or rewrite the content or whatever you want to do. So you can look at all of that. Uh, you can look at all the kind of different topic discovery on there. And like I say, 
it writes the tool for you, but it can also publish that content straight to WordPress as well. Um, so I think that's a great feature as well. But the biggest thing that I really like about this tool is the one, the, the humanization side of it. Two, you can give it custom instructions. Three, you have the ability not to just scrape the top 10 search results, but you can scrape like for like websites because someone else who's doing product descriptions, you can look at their product or e-com e pages um, and match uh, the websites that you're actually up against. But the other uh, great thing is, you know, a lot of tools out there use different scores and stuff like that based on um, the one, the structure uh, and, and various other things. Now, a lot of tools out there improve your score if you're adding in entities that they feel should be on that page. Now, you can add in word after word after word after word, and it becomes very spammy and your readability goes down. This is built into the tool so that it reads well, as well as covering um, the, you know, the topic, um, the topical coverage and as well the, the headings. Uh, so, <coughs> you know, both structure, readability and everything else. And, you know, the guy that built it is really into his semantics and everything else. And I think for uh, the price that this is, um, which is 79 bucks on AppSumo. Um, you know, it starts there. There is, is obviously different uh, packages available, but I think this is really a standout tool when it comes to creating um, content um, and, and leveraging AI and, you know, doing your SEO and, and you know, also looking at uh, everything else that, that's going on and what the LLMs want in terms of content and everything else but going back to the kind of keyword research uh, and and stuff like that when you're doing your keyword research let's go to the keyword agent i can go in here and i can say go find me the best keywords for coffee makers now <coughs> this is for those of you who do client work and stuff like that as well now, it's an AI agent, and it's going away, and it's doing its thing, uh, and it's getting all the usual keyword, volume, difficulty, and, and all that stuff. But that's not what I'm trying to show you. Um, what I'm trying to show you is uh, the AI agent working and what it does and uh, and the report that it gives you as well. Um, so, whoop, um, give me a second. It should do it all for you. Give me one moment. I'm going to go back into the agent. Lo and behold, um, can you give me keyword ideas for best coffee makers? Like I say, it does its thing, um, which will just take a moment to, to do. <coughs> now, doing keyword research is obviously a monotonous task, which is obviously the, a big pain in the backside. But you can see what the tool is doing. You know, it's, it's running different relevant keywords. Then it's finding more uh, specific information about coffee maker types and features to expand our keyword research. So you can see all the kind of prompts that's going on, but it then gives you an executive summary and it will give you the top opportunities. Uh, it will then give you the clusters, brand specific keywords, coffee maker types, coffee maker accessories, uh, and a recommended action plan, uh, which you can print out um, and give off to a client and stuff like that as well. So it's going away and pulling all of that together for you based on typically what an SEO would do. You know, you're, you're wanting uh, all of that kind of stuff. And, you know, if you're doing client work or whatever, shell that out to your client 
and move on uh, and obviously print that out simple and easy it took about two minutes to do that and um, obviously it was a very generic search um but yeah you get the picture and um, so i think overall you know a great tool um and uh something that uh one you can do your research on and two go away and create some good content that is going to get indexed on google it's it's humanized it does all of that kind of stuff all built in within the, the one interface which is a a good thing so thought i'd just share that in terms of uh, a great content tool um but um, of course, I don't want to bore everyone to tears uh, talking uh, about a tool and keyword research and everything, because I'm sure you have heard it all before. So hopefully um, you do get some good uh, deal on that um, on AppSumo. And I will actually share the link to that in the chat. Um, grab deal here. Uh, and hi, Dennis, uh, Ram. If anyone's got any questions, it doesn't have to be relating to the tool, um, then please do ask them in the chat. Um, that is the link uh, in the chat to that tool I just showed you, Keyword Hero. Um, but <coughs> um, you can get that um, if you want, if you, if you enjoyed that. But I think it is one of the best AI content writing tools that are out there um, at the moment. And, you know, having played around with it and, and a question that I'm always asked is, does that stuff index? And absolutely it does. Uh, and that's obviously a key component of any kind of um, content that, that's created. Uh, you want it to index, Google have got to like it. And uh, of course it's it, like I say, it's got to be well written and uh, semantically have the right things in there so i think it ticks all of the boxes from that perspective but roger marquez is also here uh good to see you roger uh, thank you for joining and anyone else who's there let us know who is there and if you have any questions please put them in the chat and i will go through them as quickly as i possibly can um, I've not heard from Chris yet, um, and he's not read my message, so I don't know if he's been caught up with something. Don't know if Chris is going to join us or not. Um, but if not, um, I'm more than happy to answer questions. So if there are questions, put them in the chat. If there's not, then I've showed you the tool, and I can bugger off and go and uh, let you guys have peace and quiet so please do put your questions in the chat if not i will make the assumption there is no questions today and i will have done my job in showing uh keyword hero off and uh and like i say one of the best ai content tools that are out there for the here and now and like I say, big fan of the guy who's built it. He is an SEO. Um, he is a really good developer. It's not his first rodeo when it comes to building SaaS. Um, and uh, it works very well. So I think a lifetime deal at 79 bucks is an absolute steal um, in that regard. Um, so please do check that out. Um, but if you do have any questions, um, like I say, put them in the chat. If there isn't, um, then I'm going to wrap up and uh, carry on with the rest of the day. Um, I am tired. Uh, it's end of the day for me over here, but um, I've had a busy day. So I'm quite happy to wrap up there, guys, if there's no questions. Um, so if there isn't anything, guys, I will wrap up and let you guys crack on and hopefully you will enjoy the best AI content writing tool that, that, that I've currently um, played with and um, I will um, be back at the same time next week um, with Chris for another q and if we do have questions. So we'll speak to you guys then. See you later. <laughs>